Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now many times you would have heard about this term post fertilization events. Now what are these events? Now we saw the entire process by which uh, the actual reproduction or the actual sexual reproduction happens in plants. So if we have a quick overview, so this is how it is. So let's say this is a plant, a mature plant. So a mature plant will have flowers which are the reproductive parts. Now then will happen pollination when the pollen grains will be carried from the anther of flower to the stigma of flowers. Now once that is done then happens fertilization that is the pollen grains will contain the male gametes which will actually fuse with the female gametes which are present inside the ovule of the flower. Now once that fusion has happened then what happens? The zygote is formed and then what happens to the flower? Then the fl all the petals, sepals, they all fall off and the uh, ovary gets converted into a fruit and the uh, ovule gets converted into a seed. So basically the next step is seed formation. Now once seed is formed, then this seed, seed is germinated, that is seed germination. When it gives rise to a seedling and that seedling again grows to become a mature plant and this cycle continues. So that is the overall cycle of sexual reproduction in plants. Now often the term post fertilization events are used for all those changes which take place after fertilization has taken place. So what is fertilization? It is basically the fusion of male and female gametes. So once the fusion has happened, the first thing that happens is the formation of zygote and then this zygote undergoes repeated divisions to form the embryo. So development of embryo from zygote is one post fertilization event. The next one is the ovule gets developed into a seed. So formation of seed from ovule is the next post fertilization event. And the third one is development of fruit from the ovary. So these are the three major changes which take place or the major events you can say which uh, takes place after fertilization has happened. So therefore all these events are classified under post fertilization events. So if you look at this picture it is somewhat like this. So this is your mature plant where you have this kind of flower. Pollination happens and then finally the pollen grains reach the stigma. And then these pollen grains will travel till the ovule where fertilization will take place. Now after fertilization has happened, then the ovary will get converted to fruit. So this ovary will become the fruit and the ovule will become the seed. So the seed formation will take place. So development of seed from ovule is also an example of post fertilization event. And then this seed will give rise to new plants again. So all these the processes after fertilization are termed as post fertilization events. So now that we have spoken so much about flower, the process of sexual reproduction, let us talk about the seed because seed is an important part because from seed only we get new plants. So seed is nothing but a fertilized ovule that is the ovule becomes a seed after fertilization. So we can call it a fertilized ovule. So it is something like this, you have any plant, you look at its flower, so inside the flower you will have the female reproductive part which would be the ovary which will contain the ovary and inside the ovary will be present the ovule. So inside the ovary, so the ovary becomes the fruit and the ovule becomes the seed. So here if you look at this one, this is a pomegranate. Right? So here you have the seeds of pomegranate and this fruit is nothing but the ovary of the flower and the seeds are the ovules. So if you look at the basic structure of a seed, this is how it is. A seed contains a seed coat, embryo and the embryo contains a radical and a plimule and cotyledons. So these are the most important parts of a seed. Because why is a seed capable of giving rise to a new plant? Because it has all the necessary parts which can further grow to become a completely new independent plant. 
So what are those parts? Those three important parts are radical, plenule and cotyledons and all these three together form the embryo. So as you can see, the radical is nothing but the tiny root which grows to form the root of the plant. Plenule is the small tiny shoot which grows to form the shoot system of the plant. So that's how you get the root system and the shoot system of the plant. And cotyledons are the seed leaves. So cotyledons are the seed leaves which provide, which is used for storage of food and it provides nutrition for the growth of plimule and radical to new shoot and root system respectively. So these are the basic structure of a seed and due to the presence of these structures, a seed is capable of giving rise to a new plant. And in order to protect all of these, there is an outer covering of the seed which is called the seed coat. Now in many seeds, you would have seen for yourself that many seeds contain an outer covering. So that covering is just for uh, protection. So it protects the inner structures of them. The, it protects actually the embryo. The embryo needs to be protected because the embryo is only going to grow to form the new plant. Now, number of cotyledons can also vary. Some seeds contain one cotyledon and some seeds contain two cotyledons. So, based on the number of cotyledons, seeds can be classified into two types. That is dicots, dicotyledons, so dicotyledons and the other one is monocotyledons. So the dicotyledons has two cotyledons. Now this in this picture you can see one, two. There are two cotyledons. So it is dicotyledon. And these type of plants are called dicots. And where you have one cotyledon, they are called monocots. Those kind of plants are called monocots. Now looking, if you look at the structure of a dicot seed and a monocot seed, they are quite different from each other. However, uh, right at this stage, we will not get into the detail of the structure of dicot and monocot seed because you will learn about them later in your higher classes. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.